So we must, for us to overcome this darkness that was overcoming Ephesus, we need to return to the Lord Jesus Christ in love. Using the same illustration that I, as I use of electricity, the way our relationship with God is, is, let me put it in a way that we can understand. Let's assume it is through a conduit. Let's say when a man is born again, instantly a conduit by linking the man's spirit with the spirit of God is established. So through that conduit, everything that God wants to do takes place within that conduit. So the removal of iniquity from his life is through that conduit. The infusion of life is inside that conduit, it's through that conduit. So as long as that man is attached through that conduit to the Spirit of God, what happens? He has the life of God. The life of God is flowing through him. That's why the Lord Jesus said that if the Spirit of God is in you, uh, what do you have now? He says it will, it will be like a well of water springing up onto eternal life. It will continue to flow. Because it's not as if there's a reservoir in you, but you are connected to the main reservoir and that flow is taking place. It is through that conduit that God shed abroad in our hearts, in our being, His love. Do you understand that? If God now says we have forsaken Him or His love, what that means that we have closed that, we shut that conduit and we have refused His love to pass through. And once we shut the conduit and his love cannot pass through, what do we have now? Our own wicked ways. Or our own love, which is actually lost. Which is selfish. Which is self-centered. So when we see ourselves saying that we love people but we are doing things for our own sake, that's not the love of God. Now, if we must overcome what overcame Ephesus, which is their ab the abandonment of their love for the Lord Jesus Christ. Then we must repent, return, and reopen that conduit. That conduit was not closed by God. That conduit was closed by us in our departing from God. Do you understand that? Once we departed from God, we show the conduit. If we return to God, therefore, in repentance and restitution, what happens to the conduit? It is reopened. And fellowship is, is reestablished. So to overcome what overcame Ephesus, we must ensure that our link with the Lord Jesus Christ is constant. Is constant. In John 15, the Lord Jesus said, John chapter 15, He said, I am divine. You are the branches. I am divine, you are the branches. Verse 5. He who abides in me and I in him bears much fruit. For without me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is cast out as a branch and is withered. And they gather them and throw them into fire and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, you will ask what you desire and it shall be done for you. By this my Father is glorified that you bear much fruit so you will be my disciples. So he said, keep that, that uh, channel open. Make sure that it is open. That way my life will continue to flow through you. And the life of the Lord Jesus Christ is light. 